Hi all you uh, Cool Tone fans, Random Pressure fans, Hip Waiter fans, Dung Beetle fans, and hopefully soon to be Max Blue 5 fans come February. I'll explain that later. I decided to start doing a video blog um, for updates for all of those uh, of you that are interested. And I just thought it would be more of a personal way to share what's going on and, and uh, all that kind of stuff. So um, just wanted to say that, you know, 2010 was an amazing year musically. Of course, it had its ups and it's had its way downs. But, uh, you know, we pulled through. We had a great time. Almost every show we did um, was great. I mean, the debut of Random Pressure, um, the those of you that, that tried to help us with the Copper Penny thing, um, so much appreciated. And uh, like I've said before, even though that didn't work out, um, the positive side of that was we met so many new people, um, musician friends, um, and new friends and fans um, that came out of that whole situation. So it was well worth the effort um, that we put into it and that you put into it for, for coming out and supporting us there. Um, it would have been great if it would have worked, but it just wasn't the right, um, just not the right fit and uh, nobody's to blame for that. Um, Dung Beetles again was fantastic. We had a blast and um, you know playing with the cool tones all year again there's nothing like it you know and, and you guys all support all of our bands and me getting to fill in for the hip waiters is always a blast because I get to do a lot of stuff uh, on guitar with them that I don't get to do in my other bands so you know that's a plus for me and I even got to play bass with them at the end of the year which was a blast that was kind of a thrown on me real quick but I really enjoyed it so um, you know the downside was that um, I lost my mom and we lost Sally who you know was one of our biggest supporters of all of our bands and those of you that knew Sally um, you knew how wonderful she was and how much she loved our music and loved all of our of our family of friends and uh, to have them pass away on the same night was pretty amazing and uh, pretty overwhelming but you know we got through it and uh, great memories you know uh, my mom was on stage with me in July on my birthday weekend with the Dung Beetles and that's the first and only time that's ever happened so I've got that memory I've got the photographs from that that I'll have forever you know and that's that's amazing so anyway so 2011 so much going on um, random pressure is going to be the focus this year for me and uh, for Norm and um, Jeff and Andy and John in the Cool Tones have graciously um, allowed me to pursue this, and um, and that's great. You know, they're very supportive, and you know, they're certainly all free to do their own projects. And I know John's going to be busy doing projects, and uh, I think Jeff is is going to just kind of take it easy and just play. You know, of course, we're going to do the Dung Beetles, and we're going to do Max Blue Five, which for those of you that don't know what that is, because we haven't played for a couple of years and we've met a lot of you in that time, um, it's a blues, kind of blues rock project that we do. Jeff and Andy are the, are the drums and bass. I play guitar and then we have a keyboard player named Dan Pettis who is amazing. And uh, my ex-brother-in-law, Cliff Ashman, uh, they call him Cordless Cliff because he plays harmonica and sings. And uh, he is amazing and he's cordless and he goes out in the audience and He's, he's quite a showman. And, uh, you know, don't get scared away because I say it's a blues band because it's, you know, we still do a lot of songs that you'll recognize. It's not just, you know, slow, boring blues. It's it's uh, a lot of rock and roll. And, uh, you know, 90% of the songs you'll know. And and uh, 
it's a really good band, and I, I hope you come out and see us. I think that's going to be the last weekend in February. Plus, we're talking, we're, we're thinking about um, that Saturday doing one set of our rockabilly material and inviting uh, Dave Graff, who was the uh, pedal steel player on our latest CD, to come out and play with us. And uh, we're going to try to put that together. So that'll really be fun, too. So. So like I say, I got, you know, random pressure in January, um, cool tones one night in February. We're going to Pub 181 with random pressure in February, and then Max Blue 5. And then uh, in March, um, more random pressure. And I get to travel down to Los Angeles to do some, um, to make some music with my old friends, uh, Pete Holmes and Mark Bain. And we're... Um, actually going to work on an original tune, which will be a lot of fun. They've asked me to, you know, if I had any material um, that I wanted to submit, and I submitted one song to them, and they really liked it, and so we're, we're going to work on that while I'm down there, but mostly it's just a matter of getting together and playing uh, a selection of songs that we did back in the 90s, my originals that we recorded, and then uh, Mark and Pete and I are all Black Sabbath fanatics, so when we get together, we do a whole set of Black Sabbath, so you know, so going from rockabilly to Black Sabbath, that's what I'm kind of shuffling right now. But it's a lot of fun. So anyway, tons to look forward to this year. And as always, thank you so much for your support in all the projects that I'm involved in. And um, spread the word. And it's only going to get better. And, and hopefully we're all going to have a great time this year. So I'll be back in February and give you another update. Thanks.